banana port control banana port control this is motor vessel monkey call sign my oscar number kilo come in please mv monkey this is banana port control go ahead uh, my et to pilot station is 2 hour from now sir message received question what is your intention answer my intention to load 1000 kg banana and 820 kg well received but freight not credited instruction please drop anchor information proceeding to anchorage now advice please keep banana tree on your starboard side request let me go close to eat banana mv monkey this is warning you are running into danger well received we will be safe mv monkey instructions please drop your anchor right now in your present position hey friends welcome on board so today's video is about communication systems on board we have many type of communication systems and being a deck officer it's very important to have good communication skills because that's what you are doing all the time communication we are doing communication with loading masters in port we are doing communication with pilots and port control out at sea and we are expected to do communication all the time communication officer on board is second officer let's go up on bridge and see what all we have for communication friends it's important to know about the gmds's radio logbook which is maintained by second officer and always countersigned by master all the other duty officers are also supposed to fill up this logbook whenever they receive any safety related message or any distress related communication on mfhf or vhf then each officer is supposed to fill up this logbook so this logbook has some checks to be recorded these checks are called daily checks weekly checks and monthly checks and every day's noon position is supposed to be recorded in this logbook as well so daily checks involve testing of vhf mf hf they all have a daily test button and printers if they have sufficient papers the weekly checks involves all the daily checks in addition to that mf hf transmission to shore or to other ship along with its records checking of the batteries its power reserve source of power apart from that we have monthly checks which also involves your epub sart sart is search and rescue radar transponder epub is emergency position indicating radio beacon which i will try and cover in a separate video yearly test involves testing your gmds's batteries on full load for and they are supposed to work for at least 18 hours you have to record particulars of ship and deck officers gmds's details here we have three portable vhf units their range is about 25 to 50 nautical miles and these are not intrinsically safe so these are not supposed to be tested out on deck but can be used in emergency anywhere so for presently for testing we are doing it inside the accommodation for daily communication on board we use these uhf radios each officer has his own radios apart from that bridge ccr deck crew everybody has his own radio and once charged it easily lasts for about eight hours and this one is definitely intrinsic safe we also have some spare batteries for it anytime it is discharged we just change the batteries but changing of battery must be done inside accommodation we have these about 8 to 10 pieces on any ship it is solas requirement to have a sat c and a nvdp system on board but these days modern ships have got rid of nvdp system and instead of that they are providing two sat c's sat c can be used to send telex email fax one sat c is connected to lrit lrit which keeps sending the ship's position to shore on a regular basis and they can keep a track where the vessel is we also have mfhf vhf range is only 50 nautical miles so beyond that we have to use mfhf out at sea it works in different frequencies and higher the frequency higher the range of communication both sat c's are also connected to a printer so vhf unit we all ships have a requirement of having two vhf and in case we need to monitor three channels then one of the vhf is used in uh, dual power, dual mode wherein we can keep a track of one more channel in addition to channel 16 which is distress alerting channel ships are always supposed to keep watch on channel 16 and vhf range is 25 to 50 nautical miles here we have a fleet broadband unit this is used for normal vessels email communication and also for calling to office out at sea for port they have provided us with a world roaming mobile number crew also uses the same fleet broadband and this is what 
is giving us internet on board as well and internet provided free is about 250 to 750 MB per month per crew on board announcements are done using the ship's uh, PA system all you have to do is select emergency and once you select emergency it will sound everywhere on ship and you just pick this microphone and make your announcement onboard communication is done using the ship's powered phones which are on every everywhere in every cabin every common place and you can find these phones almost everywhere if we have a power failure and these phones are not working the, we have battery sound powered phones located only in some important locations like we will see here Ship's clock will be retarded by one hour tonight. Long blast. Short blast. So a simple thing like whistle is also used on board for grabbing somebody's attention on deck. Finally monkey is got to eat some banana. So my friends this is advice. Please always keep your communication straight to the point short in a simple way. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to Ship Sailor Sunil because I keep coming up with new new videos related to ships. Bon voyage, happy sailing and Jai Hind.